Hi and welcome back to my channel, Mom in the Mitten. My name is Chantel and today I'm going to be doing a little questions and answers, some advice, tips and tricks all about Mackinac Island that one of my subscribers had. So if you're interested in watching that, just keep on viewing. Thanks! Alright, so like I said in the intro, I'm going to be doing a little question and answer. So I have my phone here, so if I'm like looking down reading, I have a bunch of like notes that I have um, kind of did some research and thought back to my trip. So this kind of stems from that. So one of my subscribers asked some questions about um, one of my videos, the Mackinac Island video that me and my family just recently went on. So I decided that I would go ahead and make that video for them. So one of the first questions that I was asked about Mackinac Island was like a do's and don'ts. So we went just um, at the beginning of July. So it's been a little bit over a month now since we've been. Um, so this is 2024 as well. So one of the do's that I definitely would say to do would be to make sure that you wear your most comfortable, most broken in shoes because obviously you're going to be doing a lot of walking around so if you have the right shoes it'll make your trip a lot more comfortable. I am notorious and well known for not wearing the right shoes so for some reason I have a problem with that so it's super annoying and uncomfortable but actually on this trip I bought new shoes they were really comfortable they didn't need to be broken in so that was a plus and it worked out really well. So definitely the first thing I would say to do is to bring and wear really nice comfortable shoes. Then the next thing that I would say would be to find a way to explore the island. There is a lot of awesome stuff to do. If you don't know about Mackinac Island, they do not require or allow cars, motorized like vehicles, stuff like that. So the main two modes of transportation there is walking. So that kind of goes in with the right shoes, but I guess it's three modes. So walking, taking a horse-drawn carriage and then also riding a bicycle. So those are like the top three ways to get around there. So find one of those ways and I would definitely kind of steer away from the walking if you can because there's a lot going on there and so excuse me something I would say would be one of the carriage tours. So they have like a few different ways. I have like a list that I got um, that has like the prices and stuff. So the first one that they have is their most basic like tour package. It's called the sightseeing tour. So what you do that do for that is it takes you around different spots on the island. So it it goes to um, like through like the town and then kind of goes through more like the state park areas. So with that it costs for adults and seniors $41 right now like I said this is summer of um, 2024 so that's the prices currently right now. So $41 for adults and seniors, children are $16 that's for 5 to 12 years old and then dogs which is kind of funny that they have that but when we were there we actually saw a dog on one of the carriages and it cost $16 for dogs that are 35 pounds or greater. So if you notice, children, dogs that are less than 35 pounds weren't on there and that's because if they're younger or if they are dogs that don't weigh as much, they're free as long as they can sit on your lap. So that's what we did with both of my daughters who are four and one. So they were both free because they sat with me and their dad. Um, so that is the first package that they have and it runs for about an hour and 45 minutes. So it does seem like it's a little bit pricey, but I think for how much you get to see and how long it takes, it's definitely worth the $41 for an adult. Then they have something called the combination ticket. So what's included with that is it's the basic carriage tour ride that I just kind of talked about that takes you around. And then it also gives you admission to something called the Wings of Mackinac. And so my husband and I did this before we had kids. And it's basically like their butterfly house. So you get dropped off in like the middle of the island area, like the part of the tour. And then they have like a little um, butterfly house there that you can actually like walk inside and look at the butterflies. And so that's pretty cool if you want to see that. So that price for adults and seniors is $52.50. Again, um, children are four, four and under are free, but then children five to 12 years old for that is $23. So um, 
that's the price for that one. And then they have their third, the, like the highest price is called the Mackinac package. And so along with that, what you get is it's um, the traditional carriage tour, like the first one, along with the wings of Mackinac. So you get to go into that butterfly house. Then you get admission to Fort Mackinac, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later. It's one of the things that is really fun to do. A lot of people say a lot of good things about it. I have always went to the fort that's in Mackinac City. So later I'll talk about some of the things that I want to do in the future and going to the fort on the island is actually one of those that I want to do in the future. So you get to go to the fort, then you get to go to the Biddle House. So that's kind of like a little museum and then they also have like an art museum. So you get to do like a couple like um, museums and then the fort, the carriage tour and the butterfly house. So for that, the ticket price for adults and seniors is $68.25. And then again, for kids five to 12 is $31.25. So that's kind of the second thing that I would definitely say to do is to find either one of the carriage packages that you want to do, walk around, which is probably the least thing that I would say because it's kind of spread out pretty far and wide. Unless you have a lot of time designated with kids, it's not so easy, but that's definitely a way that you can do. But then the other way, like I said earlier, is to either rent or you can even bring your own bike. So then the next thing that I would say to do if you're going to Mackinac Island is to bring your own food. Yes, they do allow food, so you can bring food, water, definitely bring some like frozen waters so you can have later throughout the day once you're kind of like walking around it can melt and then you can have nice cold water later so i would definitely say that we like i said have a four-year-old and a one-year-old so snacks are definitely a thing um unless you want to buy food and there's tons and tons of stuff like fun with snacks popcorn candy ice cream fudge fudge is definitely a thing that you have to do um but yeah, so you can definitely get a bunch of food. If you want to spend the money there, it's kind of expensive, I would say. But, you know, you're on vacation. If you want to go and splurge a little bit, by all means, go for it. But something that we always do is, like, bring some snacks or make sure to eat a good breakfast so you're not spending, like, lunch and dinner there. You might just kind of skip over lunch and, like, have, like, a late lunch or a dinner there. So definitely do that. Bring food and water. Definitely water because... You're going to be probably doing a lot of walking and you're going to want to stay hydrated. All right, so the next thing on my do's list is to make a rough plan or idea of kind of like what you want to do or what you want to see beforehand. So if you know you want to go on the carriage tour, make sure that you kind of time it out to where you will be able to get food so you're not hungry and hangry um, at that time when you're doing like fun different things. Whew, I'm outside and there's like a little mosquito getting me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, definitely kind of schedule, think about what you want to do before you go there. I just think that that makes it a little bit easier when you have like a little rough idea or plan or just some idea of what you want to do. But if you're the complete opposite of that and you just want to go there and do whatever you want to do, just spur the moment, then go for that. Um, I would definitely, another thing that I would do is kind of going along with that is to check their website and see if they have any like special events going because sometimes they'll have like concerts or like um, like people that come to like speak there. I know they have like a lilac um, like event that they do because lilacs are really really popular um, on Mackinac Island and I think even in Mackinac City. So just check and see if they have anything like special events. I know they do like fireworks of course around the 4th of July. Um, so just stuff like that. The last kind of thing that I would say, I already mentioned a little bit, but do grab yourself some fudge. They have really good fudge. They have it in uh, an insane amount of flavors and like variety. Um, I have a little fact on here. They said that there's 13 fudge shops on the island, so there's definitely one that you'll be able to find. And it says that Mackinac Island makes so much fudge that they import 10 tons, 10 tons of sugar per week just to make the fudge. So it's a very popular thing um, with locals, with tourists. So definitely get some fudge and bring some home for your family because they will sure be enjoying that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do some of the don'ts for going to Mackinac Island. So the first thing that you don't wanna do is you don't wanna pick any of the wildflowers that are there. Now this might sound weird, but hear me out. So when you go to Mackinac Island, most of it is like state park 
so it's got a lot of like wildlife and stuff there so it says that many of Mackinac Island's water wildflowers are protected species and they're in danger of extinction from the island and so for every wildflower picked there is actually a fine that goes along with it so one of the tourists were telling us that if you want to go out and hike that's fine just don't take anything with you leave everything in nature when I was a teacher and my students would want to bring stuff in from recess I would always tell them nature stays in nature so that's definitely a little thing you want to remember if you go there and see some pretty wildflowers just leave them there second thing is don't think that you're gonna be able to camp just because it's a state park you cannot camp there it's not permitted um, it's there to preserve the natural environment and protect it against wildflow wild <laughs> fires no fires are allowed on the island they have like one specific area where like Cub Scouts or Girl Scouts will come in and they will actually like have special fire equipment stuff to protect the environment so definitely no campfires are allowed on Mackinac Island the last kind of thing you don't want to do on Mackinac Island is you do not want to stop in the middle of the road. So when you're walking on Mackinac Island, you want to make sure that you're always using the sidewalk and beware of the horses and the bikers because they have the right of way on the island. So that is definitely another thing to not do if you're on Mackinac Island. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and move on to different things that you might want to bring with you when you go to Mackinac Island. So first thing, Usually people go in the spring or the summertime. I know that's definitely something that we have done in the summertime. Go to Mackinac Island, like I said, just in July. So definitely sunscreen. You want to bring sunscreen. You want to make sure you're applying it um, every like hour and a half or so. So make sure you're bringing sunscreen. And along with that, make sure you're bringing bug spray. So more than 80% of Mackinac Island is like state park, like I said. So the natural wilderness is awesome but it also brings all of those nasty bugs that kind of go along with it so if you're hiking through the woods or the trails you want to make sure that you're protecting yourself against mosquitoes um, if you're bringing animals or even just yourself to protect against ticks so make sure you're bringing bug spray watching out for poison ivy because there's a lot of that as well there um, so definitely make sure to do that like I said earlier you want to bring some snacks food Maybe you want to bring like a little picnic and have, they have a lot of areas to um, sit down and like eat outside. So that's definitely something you can do. So another thing, like I said earlier to bring is water. Definitely bring some water. Um, another thing, oh, sorry, outside, weird sounds. Yeah. Um, but another thing that you might want to bring that you might even not think to consider, especially if you're going in the summer, but if you're going maybe in like the spring or the fall, you might want to bring a light jacket or a sweater because it can get cold early in the morning, especially when you're taking the ferry from Mackinac Island to the city or vice versa. Um, so having that will be nice to just kind of throw on you if you get too chilly. I know my husband and I, like I said, we went there like I want to say mid-May and it was freezing literally i was so cold like the only things that i bought when i was on the Mackinac island was a jacket a scarf and gloves <laughs> like it was a very very abnormally cold winter um or when <laughs> very abnormally cold spring and so i was just like so shocked but definitely bring your own little jacket you will be happy that you brought it just in case um Another thing that you might want to bring is maybe you want to bring your own bike. So they do allow you to bring your own bicycle on the island. So if you have that, you don't want to do like rentals, um, you can definitely bring your own bike. I do have some information about bike rentals though. Um, so like I said, you can rent them. There's fees by the hour, by the half hour. Um, and then you can either do either a full day of having the bike if you're staying there like if you're staying in one of the hotels or bed and breakfasts they have a ton of places that you can stay so if you're staying um, there longer than a day or two they also have bike rentals that you can do for a little bit longer also if you're bringing a bike along with you especially if you're having it for a long time or even if it's your own bike make sure you bring a lock so just in case I mean I don't think anything would happen like that but you never know so bring yourself a bike lock all right and then just kind of going along with that bring 
bringing things to the island. If you do happen to forget something, more than likely you'll be able to buy it on the island. So don't worry if you forget to bring snacks. They do have one of the um, tiniest but coolest like little um, grocery stores. I guess it's like the oldest in the country. So you might even want to just go in there and check that out. So that is something that you can remember. They do have like fresh produce, um, snacks, drinks. So if you forget something, don't worry, you'll be okay. All right, so the next and last part of this video is going to be things that I want to do the next time I go back or future times that my family and I go back to Mackinac Island. So one of the things that I'm kind of bummed that we didn't get to do this last time, um, this past month, was go and visit the Grand Hotel. So that's always been something that has been on my bucket list, definitely on my Mackinac Island bucket list for sure, just going there, checking it out, I would really like to stay there, but it is crazy expensive. It's like over $800 a night just to stay there, but I think that would be cool. But at the very least, very least, I would like to go and just spend some time on the porch, just be up close. It has so like majestic, old timey, historic feel to it that I just feel like is awesome. I've watched like a few different videos of the Grand Hotel and it just seems kind of like, grand I mean it's corny but it does seem like really cool and I don't know it just seems like something that would be a lot of fun so that is definitely something that I'm going to do I'm going to go to the Grand Hotel even if it's just to sit on one of those rocking chairs and look out into the lake and see the bridge like that's definitely something um, so what they do offer at the Grand Hotel um, there's an airplane coming so if you hear that I apologize um, but other than just being able to sit on the porch, you can go in there and go for afternoon tea. They also do very elegant dinners. If you go past a certain time, I think, for dinner, you do um, have to wear, like, fancy or, like, um, not fancy, but, like, more dinner attire. So, like, dresses, skirts, ties, like a suit jacket for men um, so that is something to think about if you're wanting to do that and have like a fancy dinner there or if you want to go visit during that time you might want to bring those clothes with you so that's just something that you might want to put on your um, things to bring list is like fancier nicer clothing just kind of they want it to feel more elegant um, they also have a salon and spa there which I feel like would be pretty cool to do at the Grand Hotel um, they also have a pool that has like an adult cabana, poolside cabana. They also have miniature golf. So there's a lot of different stuff that's happening all the time at the Grand Hotel. You just have to like go on their website, check it out, and see what is going on during the time that you're going to visit. So um, another thing that I would like to do is go to the fort that is on uh, Mackinac Island. So we have always went to Fort Michelin Mackinac. I also have a video that is included with or clips of me and Olivia kind of like walking around and then just us at that fort. We went there and like saw a cannon um, go off so that was cool but what I'm saying here is I would like to go to the fort that's on Mackinac Island. So it's called Fort Mackinac. So I feel like that is always something that we've kind of always passed but I've never went in to see. So later in the future, when my my girls get older and they can appreciate it more, I would like to go and do that. Though so that's something that my husband and I have never even done. Um, another airplane. <laughs> All right, so another thing that we um, would like to do is rent bikes. So we could either rent bikes or like I said earlier, bring our own. Most likely, I think we would probably rent bikes just because it's less stuff that we have to bring um, back and forth. Um, so my husband did it when he was younger and he said that that was a lot of fun and that it was really cool to like kind of tour the island yourself and just kind of see things and do it at your own pace. So I think that would be something cool again that would be a lot of fun once my girls get a little bit older. So definitely we want to like rent bikes. So um, that's another thing that I think would be fun. Um, something else that my husband and I would like to do is just kind of go to like the residential area that they have on Mackinac Island because believe it or not there are people that live there year round. Um, there's kids that go to school there so um, yeah so we want to kind of just see the residential area 
just kind of see like what it's like. They have their own little neighborhood kind of like back um, in the corner of the island, just kind of keeping them private away from all the tourism, which I completely understand. But I think it would be cool to just kind of go there, even maybe talk to somebody that's lived there or does live there because I feel like it's such a unique place and I just have like a lot of curiosity about it so I feel like that would be something cool to like go and see and maybe even talk to somebody like I said. All right and so for the last thing that I would like to do when we go back to Mackinac Island is to go and stay there like actually stay on the island so stay in one of the hotels or stay in one of the bed and breakfasts so I feel like that would be really cool um, just to kind of feel like I've been there for a substantial amount of time. So I feel like being at one of the hotels, bed and breakfasts would be really cool, really interesting. Um, we were going to do that this past time, but with my daughter only being a year old, she has a hard time sleeping in new places. So it was just going to be really expensive to go there and kind of stressful so I just thought it'd be easier for us to just end up staying in Mackinac City so that's what we did so it was it was fine because we had a really nice hotel room if you didn't already go see that video um, if you have not already seen that video go ahead and watch it it's like our Mackinac Island Mackinac City trip 2024 so that'll show a little bit more of kind of the stuff that I'm talking about here a little bit um, I hope that you enjoyed listening to me ramble on about Mackinac Island. Um, if you did enjoy this, please make sure to give it a like. Please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching. All right. Bye.